This week on Reality Drive, we have the diva, mother of four, reality star, Miss Colin Kulkia. You know, we come a long, long way ago. It's been like seven so years. Seven it's been seven years. Yes. So tell me about this area you grew up in called Grabo. Yeah, I grew up in a small town um, just outside Cape Town, Grabo. Yeah. My musical career started um, when I was five, yeah. actually. Um, it only actually took flight now when I entered uh, this competition. But I was five years old and ever since then I've been singing in church. Um, you know, I always had the passion and the love for music, um, but I wanted, you know, there was always this hunger. And it's only when I, in my, in my teen years, mm -hmm. that I've actually realized that this is what I want to do. I want to make this a career, I want to make it a success. Now, uh, before you go on, I've got something that would remind you of Krabo. I need to play something for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> the song. I'm sure everyone oh. in the community knows the song. So oh. we're gonna have to sing. You're gonna have to sing. Okay. Because yeah, I still know the words. <laughs> okay, okay. Need a kidney If my love Nine years old, I didn't know who Judy Boucher was. <laughs> and um, they would make me stand on this big garbage thing. Mm. And then they would play the CD and everybody was dancing. And I was now the one singing for them all these songs. So I grew up with this, these songs. Mm. But you don't, you know what? It's all about, it's the memory behind it. You know, that, it's, that makes it so beautiful. Because I would always sit and listen to this and think about that, mm -hmm. you know. I don't have a mother and a father yes. anymore. But same, I've got same. Those, yes, <laughs> same, same, know, same, that's same, all, same. That's why we click so yeah. well. Anyway, so you entered yeah. this reality show? Yes. Which you... In 2005. Um, 2005, yes. which you ended up winning. The first person of color to win a reality yes. singing show. Yes. How did that make you God. feel? I was so overwhelmed, you know, while I was auditioning men uh -huh. in the competition. Uh -huh. So this one judge asked me, I bet you sing like that in the shower, in the bathroom, and in... <laughs> You must not know I'm from Khrabo. I live in a whole <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a shower, I don't have a bath, you know. <laughs> but I couldn't say, no, I don't have a shower. I was like, yeah, 
There was no the shower. shower and the kitchen and the bathroom is one. <laughs> so by the way, it's one room. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Girl, I get all the You have been through everything. And I don't want to go into what you've been through because South Africa knows. People know. People know what happened. Um, some people forgave you. Some people didn't forgive you. Yes. Um, but you've moved on. You've picked yourself up. Yes. And you're, I think you, I, I always say this, you were a very strong woman. Um, you were a woman that I've never met someone who is so powerful. I mean, you're a mother of four, you know, you, you, you're single, you work alone for your children. And, and for me, that is success. To put them all through school, to make sure that there's food on the table, to make sure that there's a roof on there, and this is what you do. And, 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 and as, a, as a mother, I would like to say thank you. I would like to say thank you for doing the best that you can for your boys. Thank you. Thank you for always putting them first. There's a lot of things that I've been through with you. And and we don't even need to speak about that because it's not even important. But I just no, want to no, say I thank think, you. I think I think I must just say something because I know, you know, at the time I was mm. so immature and you know, I didn't know what was I didn't realize mm. the the effect it's gonna have. It's it, it, it was you know there's a lot of mixed emotion, let me put it like that. Mm. And I didn't say anything, and I think that is what people, you know, mm. they wanted me to say so something, something at the time. Mm. Because, I mean, if I was in their shoes, why, man, God, and why, why? After everything that happened to you, why, you know, and I understand that. Mm. And I made a wrong decision at the time, mm. and I regret it up until today, mm. you know, but I've learned to cope with it mm. and I've um, amend what I needed mm. to do because I've, I, I, I was struggling yeah. emotionally I was in a very dark place yeah. but I went to the family yeah. you know and I apologized because there was kids involved yeah. and I couldn't live with myself yeah. thinking that one day I, m I might just walk up and walk into those kids yeah. what am I gonna say to them yes you know yeah. I'm sorry what I'm sorry that I disappointed you Mm. I've been trying to fix things, you know. Mm. It's life, it happened. I'm mm. sorry, I'm sorry. This is my passion. Music is what I love. Unfortunately, I made the wrong decisions mm. in the past, but m music will always be my love, my first love, you know. Listen, so we've been singing for a long time together, for five years. Always when we used to go to gigs, mm -hmm. there was this one song that we that we did. So I'm going to play it and we're going to do ah, it. Ah, the play. Yes, girl. Oh, beautiful. Let 
this be our prayer, oh God. Let this be our prayer. When shadow fills our day. When shadows fills our day. So oh Lord, may you lead them to a place. So oh God, guide them with your grace. Guide them with your grace. Give them space so we'll be safe. A world where pain and sorrow will be ended, and every heart. That's broken, we'll be mended, and we'll remember we are all the children reaching out to touch you, reaching to the sky. memories with that song yes so what can you tell our youth that wants to enter this music industry like i said before perseverance you have to oh you have to have guts mm -hmm. you know um my break came with the reality show that i was on it might not work for the next person, you yeah. know, it, but it doesn't end there, you know. I always get the calls when people ask me, what can I do? Mm. Do you think I must enter these reality shows? Um, stuff like that. And I always refer them to um, a good friend of mine, Camilla Lombard. You know Camilla? Yes, I do. Of course. You know, because he's got the school, he's <laughs> yes, got he the whole infrastructure. I'm still personally finding myself, yes. you know. Um, but my message to the youth out there is to never give up on yourself. You know, if you have a dream, live that dream, believe in that dream. Yes. You know, I don't want, to, I don't want to go up there and then the Lord asked me, what did you do with your talent? You know, mm. it took me 10 years to find myself and the purpose for my talent. So my message to you is believe in yourself and believe in your dream and it will come true. 